Today we're looking at team of the season, Vinicius Jr. I finished champs, I got him as a red pick. I'm just going to avoid that for now. Five star, five star, high, medium, five foot nine. Can play left mid or left wing. Look at these statistics. 99 acceleration, sprint speed, 99 agility, 91 balance, 94 composure, 90 short pass with 88 long pass. He has got some of the best traits in the game. We're outside the foot shot. Speed dribble, it means he turns quicker than normal. I know it's a CPU, but for some reason that affects it. And Flares is one of those where you can do skill moves if we need to. But we have gone for a dead eye today. And the main reason being is if we go over to Footbin, you will be able to see on Footbin that it has boosted up some of the statistics. And no statistics being up to 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 short pass as well. Don't need to touch the agility or balance. He's already explosive. Makes him a 97 rated winger. This card looks unbelievably good. We'll have a look a bit more on Footbin at the end of the video. We'll talk about Styles pricing, what I thought about the card, and much more. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay, but have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt9, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are going to be playing in playoffs, basically trying to qualify for next weekend already. We're going to play in our 4 triple two system, which is what I always use. I've done a tactic video on it on the most recent objective, so if you want to check that out. Opponent's going to be playing five in the back. Vinny's main job is basically to essentially get as many goals as he can, of course, assists, etc. But mainly, I just want to see how good this card is. He's coming around about 6-7 million coins at the moment. Is he a 6-7 million coin player? We shall find out today. Great tackle from Vinny there. Now we've got him on the way. Oh, he feels rapid in terms of uh, the skill moves. A bit of Ronaldo there. Nowhere to go, unfortunately. Looking for Vinny there. Immediately already feeling unbelievably fast on and off the ball. Bit of skill to get out of the situation. Having five-star weak foot as well now is absolutely huge. Final down the line. Ball roll scoop in. Cut back. Jarzinho nearly finds himself there. Let's have a look at his set pieces, see if he's any good at corners or penalties or anything. So I probably has made a quick, a little uh, change here. We all will make the same, actually. For some reason, these are the wrong way around. Not a problem. So let's see how good he is at corners, penalties, etc. So I already making one change in defense. Vinny's scaring him. So we have a look here. Vinicius Jr. It's 99, 75, 97, 78. So he's got good stats, but just not in the ones that we really need. Not a problem. We're going to drill this at the edge. Go to the edge of the box. Find Vinicius here. Test that outside of the foot shot. It's gone for left foot instead. That's a shame. That 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Slow down that counter attack. Blocks that pass as well. Doing the defensive work. Now we get himself a counter attack. Lovely ball there. Vinny snap shot. And there is the first goal from Vinicius Jr. Making the defensive work and then instantly transitioning. And he has his own celebration, of course. Great start from Vinny there. Bit of skill there from Vinny trying to find the space. Back down to Vinicius. Go try that side of foot pass. It's a good pass in there, but unfortunately, uh, Ronaldo didn't want to jump on the end of it. Vinny between the lines. Snapshot and another goal there with the Waka Waka opening up this space and then drilling it into the bottom left. Two goals from him there, and it looks like this is probably a race quit now for sure. Fantastic start from him. He feels so responsive on the Lestic dribble and the skill moves. If you find yourself being one of these people that love skill, he is so, so good at it. He's here two goals. Eight out of eight dribbles complete. Three shots, two on target. Both the shots that are actually on target went to bottom left corner, as you can see there. Passing, we tried one outside the foot pass. Unfortunately, didn't get there, but that's the only one we missed. Not many passes there, and we had one out of one tackles as well as a block as well. So we'll jump into a second game. So into our second game then, and as to be expected, there isn't really any weaknesses with this card. Because of that five-star weak foot, he can play on the left hand or right hand side. I think if you need yourself a really small, agile and nimble striker, he could definitely do that role as well. As well as playing Cam, as our opponent has also finished champs, so you can see with his red Ter Stegen. So we've got someone else who's already finished champs. So let's see how we get on in this game then. To go, ball roll scoop away. Now we're driving into the space. Ball roll again, turn. Oh, it's left stick dribbling. It's so good. I changed player. That's a shame. Nowhere to go. Back to Vinicius. Oh, it's a good tackle. We should have had a goal there. We do keep that pressure on, though. Reverse Elastico. Into the McGeady spin. Into the red time shot from me. That is poor. I got a bit too excited there. But you can see how quick he is on and off the dribble. This could be one of the best cards on the game. That's for sure. How has this shot gone in? Look at this shot. What? How lucky have you got to be? Not a problem there. Mane doing a bit of work from him. Let's see if we can... Uh, 
to get ourselves we've got another person playing five at the back. Then he's using that skill, using that dribble as well, getting himself inside the box. Lovely layoff. Pulled the trigger. And we get ourselves a goal there. Not Maybe not from Vinicius' assist, but definitely a lot of hard work from Vinny there. And you can see I'm not the best at doing skill. He is making me look better than I am, but I'm still getting so many opportunities with him. To the Phantom Glide, into that left stick turn. Shot with the left foot and a good save from the goalkeeper, unfortunately. Let's see if we can set up that outside the foot shot with Vinny at the edge of the box here. Drill it up to the top. Going for it. And a great save from the keeper again. Let's go. Counter attack. Left back and right back's been dragged out. Waiting for Vinny to make that run for us. Find him. Got a bit of work to do. Lovely touch pass. Through ball in behind. Ah, we've gone over, unfortunately. Well, I caught the corner. Get ourselves on the way back to Vinny here down wide. Lovely pass here. A little one, two. Got a bit of work to do. Not a problem. Gonna hold it up for a minute. Surrounded by too many players. Eh? Even Vinny can't take that many on. Use Vinny as a bit of a bait there to get the line. Vinny from long range and it's blocked. That's a shame. Let's see if we can get that outside the foot shot again on the edge of the corner. So we drill it to the top. Straight over to Vinny. Oh, almost had a different angle there. If I could do a step over drag into the space. Ball in behind. Vinicius, a little hill to hill. And a great assist there. And Vinny has been running the show. Our opponent is playing five at the back, just like the last one. And we're still finding those gaps in between. Using a bit of skill if we need it to find the extra space and getting those assists. We should have had a couple more. I've actually blown a couple chances, but it is what it is. We keep knocking on the door. Somebody's going to answer eventually. And that's exactly what we need to do here. All right, here we go. Got one more tap before half time, maybe. Vinny with a left foot pass into the space. Cruyff does find him. Going to take a heavy touch. Bit of skill. Oh, nearly got that pass in. Trying to break this five at the back is becoming really, really difficult. Not having the most success in terms of dribbling. Not down to any player in particular just because our opponent's playing so negative. You would have seen one of the goals he scored. The second one was equally as bad. And that's all he's kind of done. It's just hit us twice on a counter-attack with some absolute luck in terms of finishing. We've got that assist with Vinny. Should have maybe had a goal, but I red-timed it. But he's still creating so many opportunities for us. Let's go jump into the second half. Second half underway. Let's see if we can put this game away. Hopefully our opponent doesn't get any more lucky goals, as it were. Got Vinny on the edge of the box. The Elastico pass one. Ball roll. Good pass in. And we get ourselves the assist there. A little bit of individual skill from myself to get through. But Vinny, at the end, opening up that space and getting the goal. And looks like our opponent's going to be making some changes now. Or he's actually decided to quit. So we will take that. That was a really tough game. Obviously, you can see here, Vinny with the two assists this time round. 22 dribbles, 16 complete. But when you imagine you're playing five at the back and he's got two CDMs as well, so it's seven essentially. Got ourselves two shots on target, four shots overall, one miss, one blocked. Passing where he came into his own and getting those assists and then defending, nothing to complain about there. Let's go jump onto Footbin now. So Vinny's about 6.5 million coins. And I imagine some of you that are probably watching this can't afford him or if you've been lucky enough to pack him in either the guaranteed tots pack or grind in or even as a red pick, let me know. I've been extremely lucky. It's the first time I've actually had a decent red pick. All of my other red picks have been terrible. And we managed to get benefits here. I think Dead Eye is the best one to go for because you don't need to maximize his pace or his dribbling. And as you can see here, the reason why he's so, so quick is because he has this lean body type, being five foot nine, and having 19 agility and 91 balance. He is going to be unbelievable, even in heavy gameplay. I generally think he's actually better up front than he is out wide. I feel like he's a little bit wasted out wide, but it depends on your play style. If you love skill moves, he is unbelievable. If you love left stick dribbling, he is going to feel really, really good for you. Compare him to his other card, it's going to be his foot birthday. His foot birthday is also five star, five star. But of course, there's lacking in terms of just a couple plus threes and plus fives here. So I think, to be honest, if you can't afford his tots, definitely look at his foot birthday. I don't think there's much difference in between them, to be honest. But it depends on how you feel and how many coins you have. Not much else to cover there, really. You can play left side, right side, second striker, main striker, cam. Really, really good. Like, one of the best cards I've used in the game. And I've been lucky to quite use quite a lot of them. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, please comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.